Officer, any time you hear about Africa, what, what, what do you hear? No negative. Mostly they show negative things of Africa. At the TV, at the world news. But the, 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 the good thing of Africa... You guys most, don't see it. They, we don't see it. If you want to see it, you must go to YouTube and Google it or what. Then you will see how Africa is rising. Mm -hmm. Ghana is a, is a rising country, Kenya, Nigeria, South Africa, most countries of Africa are very positive now. And that, and that is why it's very important for Africans to start telling their own stories. Yes, so yes. So that yes. Um, Africans at the other side of the world can also get to see Africa. Yes, yes. We need to connect the dots. Um, yeah, and I believe in the the young ones, mm. that they will accomplish that. Because right. you know, I don't believe that a white man can do more than, than a black man. We are just human. Exactly. <laughs> the Same one gets the opportunity, the other one next. Not like here in Suriname. When I uh, say something, people don't tend to believe it yet, but, but the white man say something. They believe <laughs> Can't believe I'm here again. Good morning. It's 5 o'clock a.m. in Suriname and we are awake and strong. We are awake at this time because we are embarking on a journey. I call it a spiritual journey, a journey of bridging the gap, a journey of connecting to our own people, a journey of getting to meet our people that found themselves in the new world. And if you're excited to come along with us on this journey, why not just like this video now? Please, like it. And if you are new here, do me a favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I feel like this is very fulfilling. The car is ready. We are about to hit the road to go find our people. They live in the interior, that's how they call it, but another way I would say the inland. So I don't want to talk too much because I don't know how long it's going to take us to get there. But we're going to come along with you guys. So yeah, let's just uh, go together. This is the car we're using. And th this trip is actually more expensive than I thought because our people live far away. But anyway, we got to do it for you because we need to let you know that you got your fellow Africans living in South America. And we are here in Suriname to bridge the gap and nothing will stop that. So this is our first stop. We are here to pick. Ah, uh, oh, we met. Oh, okay. We met him yesterday. The, are you the chef? Yes. How are you? I'm good. Um, how how do you say hello? Waking up. 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 I'm so lost. <laughs> Hi. How are you, man? I'm fine. Good. My name is Lionel. La Lionel. 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 Yes. yes. Ah, not Messi. But we call him Chefy Bia. Chefy Bia. Chefy means Bia means a small beer. The beard oh, yes. of uh, a goat. He <laughs> 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 will be your guide. Oh, you'll be our guide for yes. today, eh? For uh, the whole trip. The, the whole trip. The, from oh, today yeah. until Sunday. Sunday. Yes. yes. Okay. We will put you back in at right. uh, your accommodation. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Mommy. Millie. Ah, nice to see you. Nice to see you. So welcome to Suriname. Thank you. Ah. This is my mom. And all um, the traditional dishes I will be making, uh, I learned from her. And she learned from her grandmother. And we are going now to the place where her grandmother lived. Oh, wow. Yes. So you are maroon? Yes. Yes. Who, who are the maroons? So the Maroons are an, um, enslaved peoples from Africa who ran away from the plantations and created their own community in, to, in the interior of Suriname. So when they brought the uh, Africans in Suriname, there was, there was a few of them in between who said, I will look for my freedom, I will try to escape and see if there is life out of this. Because the life they had in the plantation was a life of, a life, of life or death. So they, they knew sure for sure that if they stayed at the plantation, one day they would die or maybe they would be treated to 
you never know. Yeah. So they took the change and ran away from the plantations and they didn't took a bus or a boat or something. They just went into the jungle. So we are representing the maroon uh, traditional dishes here in town. That's amazing. Yeah, I, I can't wait to try all the maroon dishes. You can ah. wait. We have one. We have one there, but that's. Uh, oh my goodness! Like you guys have this. This one. Uh, sauce up. Oh my god. But the, the fruits in here are so huge. The water. They come. Be, oh my goodness! No. Look at that. Like. This is Africa, man. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Very well. Is that your dad? Yeah, me and Oh, hi. <laughs> My dad is with the Maya. Hi. Gay. Who are you, sir? With the Maya. Ah, um, that, that's my name, Maya. From oh, Maya? Yeah, from Ghana. You're from Ghana? Yeah. OK, uh, if you didn't say that, we don't know. You, you Just like us. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Definitely. And I don't understand uh, what uh, is this, this trip about. That that the trip is all about coming in here to connect our people. You know, just like you said, if I didn't speak, you wouldn't know that I'm from Ghana. So. But you're from an organization. No, just a young right. man who decided to travel to okay. see and meet my people, that's it. You know, we have a lot of uh, ethnic groups here. Okay. We have people from India, uh, from Indonesia, and they tend to look back from where their ancestors came from. Mm. But we, from the, the African uh, slave, we don't have the you say it, uh, the same feeling like all the people from India and Indonesia have looking back from for uh, us I, yes look uh, need the information and uh, how about in uh, Africa where my ancestor came from we, we don't have you, that that in, uh, connection that connection you, have you, you have you ever been to Africa no no no, no. Is that that's one of the things See, we travel to Europe, not to Africa? To Africa. <laughs> now I'm gonna change that yeah. since no, I'm here. We also don't have a, a direct flight. Flights. Yeah, that's maybe one of the challenges. Yeah, sure is. yeah, and and people like them don't need a visa to come to Africa, or us coming to Suriname, we shouldn't have to apply for visa. It should be direct, yeah. you know, for us to connect to. I mean. I'm gonna make that dream come true. No, but that's that's the goal. Because there's a lot of uh, things going on. You know, one of the things is that uh, our forefathers were tricked and sold to the white man. Wearing it, so there there is uh, a, 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 an issue there that needs to be solved. Is before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I understand. Because our history yeah. was not written by but us. Us, exactly. It was written by the white man. So they give us their version. Mm -hmm. And that's not always the good version. The right version. Yeah. <laughs> but we need we need to work on that. Yeah. You know. Uh, yeah. One of the things that we don't have is the the organizations to help the, the black people uh, uh, besides and uh, coming together but helping develop helping develop the, the black people yeah. I know in, in uh, uh, America there are a lot of organizations but it's not known here so yeah, I think it's and, and we keep believing that we black people we, we cannot accomplish big things and that's not true. <laughs> it's a matter of time. So I, I just spoke to your dad and he's telling me that Africa people from Suriname will go to Europe rather than going to 
Africa. Yeah. yeah. But then I, I just want to find out, like even countries around which are also black countries, yeah. do you guys visit those countries though? Yeah, so, you know, next to the mindset of, of wanting to go and, um, to other black countries, it's also the logistics about it. Because even like Suriname is in South America, it's even hard to travel in South America because you cannot travel visa free. It's not that easy, it's a bit more expensive and, and also, and, um, uh, you cannot just go to the border, for example, you know, it's not that easy. So all those things hold you back from, from doing that type of traveling. It's not just it's not just the way we think or the way we, we uh, we've been brought up or the, or the system, but it's also just. Do, the do, do you have to apply for visa to go to, like, let's say Guyana? For Guyana, no, because of the CARICOM. But if you want to go to other Latin American, other South American countries, because we are part of the Caribbean community, mm. but we are in South America. So Suriname and Guyana, they are the Caribbean community, so we can easily travel between the two countries. But to the other countries in South America, not that easy. I, 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 I checked something and it's crazy. I don't know if it's exactly the same in here. Um, my tickets that I wanted to buy from here to Jamaica yeah. is costing me $700 per person. The ticket to go to the Caribbean is as, as expensive as go, flying to New York. In Africa, yeah. traveling from Ghana to Togo, which is, shares a border with Ghana, mm. is more expensive than me traveling from Ghana to Amsterdam. Wow. Why? Well, all different <laughs> continents, it's even more expensive than uh, the neighboring. Exactly. So, so that's another thing that's actually holding us back to connect to experience each other, to understand each other more, and to eventually uh, unify us. Well. I, I guess that is, that is intentional. Hmm. It makes sense now. Because if you guys, logistics is difficult, and it's also difficult for Africans, then they're just preventing us from uniting. I've met people, they, and, I, and they ask me, where are you from? It's like, I'm from Suriname. Where is that? It's in South America. They're like, what? I've traveled all over South America. I've never heard of the country, seen the country. I'm like, it's right there on the map. So you are really helping us for not just people from Africa, not just Africans, but the rest of the world to realize that we exist, who we are. Yeah. yeah. Because a lot of people don't know Suriname. Yes. We have a small population, but we're very um, yeah. diverse. Nice. And something else that's very important for the world, next to, you know, culture and stuff, we are the greenest country in the world. We don't have to skip breakfast. Oh, wow. <laughs> so let's have breakfast. Yeah. The moment that you know that you made it to life is when you travel with a personal chef, man. Whoa. A traditional oh, wow. personal a, chef. A traditional personal chef from Suriname. Okay. <laughs> okay, for breakfast, yeah. um, we will have um, coconut papa. Huh? Coconut porridge. Coconut? Yes. Coconut porridge. Okay. In our language, we call it coconut papa. papa. What is that language? Samaka language. So coconut papa is made out of um, coconut mm. and rice. Not much, but you can taste it yourself and let us know what you think about it. Coconut and rice. Yes, and it is vegetarian, no uh, meat stuff in it. A snake. I'll, I'll try to catch it. Yay! Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> he just stepped out. Just because he saw a snake and he wants to catch it. How? Why you guys live with snakes? <laughs> Me, I'm afraid of snakes. So we stopped by at Brocopondo and um, whenever you see me in places like that, I just want to take photos. You know, for people to know that I was also here. And all of those stuff, what I will give you, is from like the Surinamese people to you. Oh, wow. And um, it's handmade. So we don't use machines here. We took maybe two, three months to fix this. What? Yes. And uh, if you're slow like me, you will take a year. <laughs> so we will put this one here. Ooh. Now the devil's way. You must tie it your photo also. We will take that off. 
This one? Yeah, let me do it the right way, the correct way. This is called a banjakoto. Banjakoto. Yes. Okay. If you translate it, it's like um, to keep you warm. Okay. Yes. So you put one hand here and the one goes. No, 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 no. Just like this. Oh. Yeah. We have this. And then we tie it here. I hope I do it the correct way. Because, uh, Abuna. okay, when you have a wife, one side uh, stay open, and when you don't have a wife, one stay side uh, closed. So when you're going to the village, people will look at you. Oh, is it open? That means he don't have a wife. And you have a wife, so we are protecting you. No, please, don't protect me. Oh, we are protecting I, I you, I my friend. I didn't ask you to protect me. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, we have this. Uh, that's the upper part. And we also have a camisa. Uh, do you want to wear the camisa right away or you want maybe, to? Maybe when I'm going to the village. Yeah. Yes, tomorrow morning when yeah. you're going to visit yeah. the, yeah. the gramang, yeah. then you can put, put the all camisa on. on. But you can take a look at it. Yeah. My people, are, and this is the way we are showing love to people who visit us. The love in Suriname has been amazing. Like I, like I said, I feel so emotional whenever I see my people showing me this kind of love that I, I never expected from the airport to my room to where we are right now. You know, it, it makes me feel like I cannot give up on what I do, you know. No, um, never give up. Because this is a journey that I'm on and I can't believe that all these people are coming along with me on this journey. <laughs> See, these are our own people. I think I need to give a hug on behalf of all Africans watching. Hey, can, I, can, I, can I just... Sure! <laughs> Adu, that's what we say when we hug people. Really? Adu. And we say, Adu. Oh, believe it. Oh my God. What? Are you kidding me? Yes. We say, Adu means like the, the hug is connected. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's true. No. You see that this is a part of Ghana, right? Exactly. We say Atu. And they say Adu. Yes. Oh my god. I think the Ghanaian people copied from us. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, most of most of our, our language we, we make the sounds. Yeah. So like um, let's say somebody slapped you. You know, if you wanna if you wanna express, express it, it, how do you say we it? add the sounds to it. Then do it like so, me see. Obama Sum Chai You know like like the slap, you know, it sounds yeah. like chai like uh, we people say minake bo Oh okay Mikala <laughs> 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 yes. Just like just like that. So it all depends on how you express it. You yes. just have to add the sound to it. Yes. That's it's the same here. It's the yeah, same, it's the same here. here. Like running and jump in the water, akule gidi 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 jumbo juvu. Yes. No, we that's we say the same thing. <laughs> okay, and that's why uh, you are at the right place right now, because we will show you a lot more. This is a start from um, Brokopondo. We are going to the area of um, Sipalivini. Uh, maroon people. Let's see that. Yes. Start from Brokopondo. We are going back to the interior and uh, our people lived around here did to Sipalivini. Did you just say Gidi Gidi? Yeah. Gidi 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 Jumbo Gidi Jumbo Kai Chufu. <laughs> I, I, I think we should just go. We say Gidi Gidi. So your mom would tell you, Menya Gidi Gidi. Fast. Like don't be too fast or don't don't don't, don't yeah. be in a haste. Just mm -hmm. chill. Men yeah, that's why we just men yeah, but giddy giddy is like you fast and all. Yes man. As we continue the journey, we stop by at another village that feels so much like home. Like everything in here feels like home. I, I think I can live here for the rest of my life because, you know, we have this, we eat it in Ghana. How, how do you guys call this here? Spenansi. Spenansi. We eat this, we have the okra. See, everything. You know, it's more like a backyard kind of farming. 
that we do most of the times in our various homes in Africa. And it's exciting to see that it's exactly the same thing in here. Because, you see, they say you can take an African out of Africa, but you cannot take the African in him out of him. That's sugarcane, backyard. This is, see, the same tap. If I, if I had my way, I would have just take this up and put it on me. That's what you do here. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. Just look at that. She's doing the same thing. She's shining out there. A few minutes later. Ah. Look, it's, it's so hot out here that even the, the water is hot. Jeez. You feel at home? Like I feel like I'm home. I will. Uh, we will look for a house, a house for you somewhere here. No, please build don't a house do for me. I don't want to go back. <laughs> I found myself somewhere in Brunswick, and I'm seeing so many similarities in terms of things I would do in Ghana. Let me use Ghana. I don't know if in your country, in Africa, they do the same thing. But I'm talking about someone coming from Ghana. And I cannot see this water right here and just let it go like that. <laughs> Am I going to pay for the water? No, no, no. I feel like they're going to ask me, where's your money? <laughs> Have you guys been to Africa before? Who, me? No, no yeah. but uh, maybe you can bring me. No, I will take you to Africa if you want me to. You see, yeah, I want. The, what I'm trying to do, if they've been to Africa, they would definitely understand what I'm doing more because I I am from Africa. And but I'm we here. see Africa on your page, so we know no, everything it, about it, Africa. It, no, it's it's different. It, it, it's all this because it's like I. Oh my goodness! Like I, I feel like I'm in Africa. You guys brought Africa with you guys. Okay, okay. Huh? Oh, you feel like you're in Africa now? No, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, it's good. Huh? The pipe of Where Africa is Africa? also here. Africa's best kept secret. <laughs> Sorry now. We finally made it to Achoni, which is the last stop of the bus. It means that there is no road from Achoni to our final destination. So in order for us to get there, we have to be on a boat. And I couldn't believe that even here, I got people that watches my YouTube channel. Next time eh, I go on YouTube, eh, I look on my, you know when I start to look at you, when you was in China, you, 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 you talk, you speak Chinese. Yeah. I say to myself, one time, eh, I'm going to learn Chinese. You know what I do when I come back in Suriname? I, I'm from me, I live in Holland. Okay. You know, I have uh, 20 hectares of, of I, I'm going to start my own chicken. Just to look at you while you talk, do that, do that, do that. Really? So I, I can't believe I see you know my brother. I have to make a picture. Oh my goodness. I see your face, I say, hey, no, that's what I'm, what I'm I, <laughs> wow! Uh, hey, I'm happy to see you, my brother. Thank you. The... You see, I see the. I yeah, see the, I, I, I know this direct. This is one of my. <laughs> oh my goodness! Every time when I go to YouTube, eh, I look at you. I swear for my father, my brother. Wow. And it's good that we're meeting in your country. Yeah, my, yeah, my. So are you, are you going to take the boat? I'm going to take the boat. I'm with my nephew. I'm okay. Take one of the boats. So we're just going to, we're buying a fish and yeah. I will see you soon. Okay, my brother. Thank you. And I have to see you. There's a lot of, um, I don't know if you want to use the word similarities, but I want to use the word the same because this is exactly what we sell. This is cocoa yam, right? Yeah. What, what animal is that? Huh? Yeah. 
The port is so busy. I, I really don't know what happens over there, but I'm seeing so many people in here about to take the boat. Um, hi. How are you? I'm good. You were at Pansa yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I made a punch for you. The exactly. Melon. <laughs> the melon. Yeah. <laughs> and what are you doing here? I'm, uh, I'm going to the finish. Going to visit for a few days. Uh, but why so many people? Is that a huge village right there? Well, it's yeah. This is the interior, so there are a lot of villages. Ah. So, this what you see here is it's nothing. There are certain times of the year where it's very packed with boats. A lot of people coming and going. Ooh. How long will it take you to get to your village? Uh, with a boat ride, uh, approximately maybe two hours. Oh my goodness! But uh, if you look at the water level, it might maybe maybe take even longer. Ah, because uh, at certain points maybe we'll have to get out of, of the boat and, uh, and walk by walk. foot. Yeah, before we can go any further. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. He's saying uh, at certain days it's even more packed, and um, yeah, I hope it doesn't take us two hours though. <laughs> The boat, I forgot to buy something. She's always forgetting to buy something. I think she's always forgetting to buy something. The journey to the Maroon village just got interested. We started on land and now we are on water. <laughs> Apparently it's gonna take us roughly two to three hours to get to our final destination. Yeah, so come along and um, let's go. I wanna just tell you guys something, man. I mean, getting to travel. Learn new things, discover, experience things that I don't get a chance to experience. I mean, who would have thought that a day would come? I'll be cruising on top of uh, the Suriname River. These are the things that I don't really take for granted. And along the stretch, there are different villages. So imagine if the village that we're going were just somewhere here would have been out of this boat by now. But I don't know why there's so many rocks. Oh! Because the water is low, then you see all the rocks. Uh, when the water is high, you don't see plenty rocks. Okay. All of this will be hidden. All of but the boatmen know all those rocks, so they know where to manoeuvre the boat. Wow. That's a huge rock out there. So I think we have to get down from the boat at this moment. Yes. To walk. Yes, you walk through the Sula and then the boat will take us on the other side. Why? Because the water is very low and the boat needs to be light. Um, so that they can pass through the Sula. Mm. When we have a lot of people, it will be very heavy, okay. so they will get stuck. Okay. Um, we get out of the boat again for the second time, and then we're gonna pass through. Huh? This way. That's a jungle, man. Be careful for the lions. The lions. <laughs> In the jungle. It gives me a vibe of going to the farm with my parent. You know, the same way. Just walking in the forest till you get to your farm. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Ali. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> it seems all of us in the jungle <laughs> doesn't have a good voice, man. <laughs> this is how a typical farm in Ghana looks like. I mean, if you have farms, if you're born in the village, it's exactly the same way. We cut down the trees, we then bend the trees before we start planting. It's exactly the same way, man. When I saw it, I'm like, it's a new farm. And they said, yeah. All of a sudden, it started raining. So yeah, we just have to sit in the rain. Ah! My goodness. Woo! Suriname. We can't wait to dance the Adua. You know Adua? You know what that, that means? It means that the whole place belongs to me. Yeah. This guy. Exactly. I'm showing sure, sure up for dance. So give me the dance. Give me the dance. <laughs> and how do you go to dance? Adua. Our boat is just jump into the rocks, man. So we have to. Hey, hey, don't leave me! Hey, why are you leaving me? Nobody will leave you. Okay. okay. I follow, I follow. One, two, three. Oh, uh, Kaoni. Push it, pull it, pull it. That's what I'm doing now. You go to Saka, Saka, Poye, Adiai, Wapapa. Hey! Adiai, Wapapa. Hey! What about me? Hey! Don't go too much. Come here, pick me up. Pick you where? Pick you where? Just walk, jump, just like, jump, just like, hold, 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 jump. Jump. <laughs> jump, 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 jump. Hey, 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 the pressure is too much. The pressure is getting worse. Huh? No, this is not too much. No, we are not done yet. Ah, I'm done. Let's go. <laughs> you know, I'm the best Olympic swimmer, but you know that my feet does not touch water, so this was a strange experience for me. No, photo last more, they found a walk. We've been on the water for the past five hours, and we are still not there. And I'm asking them, when are we going to arrive? They're like, one hour more. Please, I just want to be on land. I just want to be on land, man. Anytime soon. Look at that. This is a crazy rapid. So we got stuck. So at some point we had to just step out to make sure that everything is okay. Look at that. Just look at that. Like we we got a a trend right there. People are pulling to make sure that we get out of here. Crazy. It's getting dark and we're still on the boat. It's been more than six hours already. <laughs> oh my goodness. We made it. And as you can see, you can't even see me, right? It means we arrived late in the evening. It's almost seven o'clock and we made it to our final destination. So I don't know if you guys can see, they are packing our bags. We stuck at the moment because um, right behind me there's water. So we can't cross because the boats cannot come in here. And um, the tour guide is trying to find the exact place that we're supposed to pass and he's struggling to find it. So we just on top of rocks, we don't know where exactly, waiting for a miracle to happen. This is crazy, I don't know if you guys can see. That's the village right there, just right behind me. But in here there's water and we are standing on one of the rocks behind the water. So we just need to figure it out how to cross. Oh God, ah, yeah, yeah, mosquito, hoo hoo. Uh, hey, anyone with a spirit of Moses? Oh wow, they are crossing. Just like that. Dude, let me go for my bag and also carry and cross the water. Just like that, man. 
Jesus. 